Good afternoon, free enterprise fans. We are here. We are at the end, the finals with Mitzi versus J Mac the Librarian. My name is Vitasia. I'm joined on the microphone by Trick Dempsey. How are we doing today, Trick? I'm doing incredibly well. It is so wonderful to be here watching a free enterprise race with what appears to be a Sid hero today. Absolutely. Sid hero, best hero. Don't at me. I swear. Sid is the very best hero. Great anchoring, great uh, forge weapon, uh, and just great out of the early gate. But this is a potion party race for the finals between Team Wombat Milk on the left side, represented by J Mac the Librarian, and <clears throat> Team Bold Strategy, you know, represented by Nitsi. And uh, that's that's a fantastic team name. I just want to say I don't know who came up with that, but that's fantastic. I think it's a really solid name, and I have uh, I've I've not met personally anyone from that team. I'm certain. Wait, let me check my notes real quick. Hold on. Uh, I'm certain that Nitsi is going to do you proud today. Oh my gosh, we're off. And we're off. Uh, remember the potion party seed. So of course this is a little bit different rules. We have, oh, old men party. Uh, and we have a uh, samurai bow to start in addition to our normal kits to start. Um, this can is- Sid this use is, bows? Sid absolutely can use bows. In fact, his his best weapon for Zeromus, if we ever get that far, Absolutely is already already. Uh absolutely. I think I'm actually kind of entertained by us having a double tail uh for our, our random uh uh our random objectives here at the bottom, because that hook seems very, very valuable to me right now. Absolutely. It is a you know, to do the six out of eight objectives. So it's worth uh trying to get uh exactly what you you know need to likely going to have to turn at least one, if not both of those tails in. So worth diving in here. Um, Nitsi immediately diving into Castle Evelyn. Meanwhile, J-Mac is doing a little bit of looting out of Baron Castle. Um, remember with Potion Party, this seed of uh, everything is money. And so you end up having to check the shops afterwards uh, to make good on your purchases at that point in time. You can't just pull random items out of there, so. A Leviathan in the shop is not bad. It's not a Bahamut, but it is a Leviathan. That is nice to see. It's not, uh, you know, we don't have anyone to activate it at present, uh, but certainly nice to see. J-Mac is going to be joining Mitzi over here in Castle Eblen. This is a, a very dense location. Oh, and there's two monster chests that are in the back uh, center area of there that's that's a lot of density in the monster chest right there yeah and of course we're far too low level to actually fight these monsties right now but it is still pretty exciting to just i like to see a noping out of a fight early on and i'm always happy to see people go into all three. Start of these all three all three are in the center area oh my goodness hey at least it's easy to remember I also am pretty excited to have seen that Rosa sitting there at the bar inside of Baron Castle because I like me a good healer. Also, we've got a guy who's just a bag of hit points. Yeah, this is pretty rock solid when it comes to early game starts. And there's what appears to be quite a bit of money available here in Castle Ebland. Um, with this party, uh, you know, you want to start and a lot of the coaching that that the team got together with Nitsi directly was like, okay, worry about money first and then come back and 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 do your shopping at that point in time. As long as you can get through the overworld with the, the first little bit of money, usually about 150 to 200,000 uh, gold, then you're set and you can just move on after that. Uh, Nitsi is certainly set up reasonably well at this point in time, we'll be able to full loot. This has been a pretty dense <laughs> a really dense uh, Evelyn Castle. I think we're probably at the 200,000 mark. We're ready. Yeah, 240,000. He's ready to exit and start shopping. It's so nice to start with a Tella and just have exit out the gate. Oh, absolutely. Uh, something you absolutely love to see. It's 
he's good to be an exit mage right out the gate and you might as well use it um j mac also done looting i uh, don't know if looted out quite as thoroughly as nitsy did but uh, it's time to start shopping okay shopping eyes on Ooh, Catcala. Well, I mean, not that we... Ooh, Earth Hammer. Earth Hammer, we have uh, more life pots that are there in the item shop. Um, Earth Gauntlet. Hammer would be nice. Zeus Gauntlet is nice, but uh, the only real thing it's good for in the early part of the game, it, it can absolutely help you out in terms of damage multipliers as you get to that point. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy that Earth Hammer. Um, it's good because it does resist giant damage, which, you know, you have those mad ogres that are in the chest uh, back in Eblem Castle, which we will eventually have to open. But otherwise, I think uh, we're in pretty good shape, all things said. Yeah, I guess we haven't mentioned, I mean, we're pretty late in the tournament to be mentioning this, but for Potion Party, key items can actually be inside of the trap chests. Well, you know, after you defeat the monsters inside of them as well. And so... Uh, for, for those of us that are new watchers to this, it's kind of fascinating to watch people strategize against really some of the meaner enemy combinations in the game. Absolutely. So we see Nitsy over here going ahead and, oh, there's a Bahamut. If we ever find a Rydia, yeah, don't buy that yet, Dance Pretty, please. Um, but that'll be interesting if we end up finding a Rydia. Rydia is my precious child, and I hope she's in this seed. Wow, they just, there's definitely not a ninja in this seed, huh? Probably not. Um, Nitz deciding to not purchase anything else. Um, he did buy a dwarf axe, which will allow him to back row glitch his uh, Sid and Kane and Cecil if they ever appear. That being said, I think he already has uh, a samurai bow and lit arrows already notched onto that Sid. So already good to go there. Um, already, cl okay, clearing out a little bit more into here, Mist Village. This is an interesting, it's a dense check. Ooh, rewarded with the 33K there. Oh, it looks like we are checking to see who's asleep for Sand Ruby or just more shopping. This has been kind of the big debate in Potion Party, and I think one of the things that lends itself to to a lot of debate, and uh, in the community, you can hear people going back and forth about what the best strategy is. Is it better to just do all of your looting early and check all the shops because of the off chance that you might find something? Or do you just get what you need and go? Um, and this is what has kind of prevailed that we've seen most people who, who do really well in Potion Party, they full loot. Like, they do a lot of looting and they check all the shops because you never know what you're going to get. I feel so strange because, like, keeping this inventory of your, in your head of, like, which shops have which useful things, while not knowing any of the party members right now, other than there exists a Rosa, is, is really tough. I'm really surprised that I haven't seen a going to Hobbs, at least, and checking out who's there. Duplicate Mr. Stinky, as we like to call him, uh, Tella is sitting in the bed, so not going to be coming back for that. Oh no, the old lady, the old lady. Maybe she'll be kind. No, she's the rudest she could possibly be. Yeah. It looks like we are coming up to our first boss fight. J-Mac taking on the Antlion, who is not an Antlion today. Hey, it's my second favorite summon. Leviathan is a fantastic summon. I mean, it just in the... in everything to be said. I mean, it's relatively cheap, only 50 MP cost. Um, certainly gets through here pretty quickly. Um, it does appear as though J-Mac is already through which is fantastic. Uh, Nitsy is still doing a little bit of looting. There's the Magma Keaton in Antline. Ooh, that is something nice to see early. Uh, that is delightful. There, there are character checks underground. There's boss checks underground. And honestly, you have a, a, a Sid who can probably smack some things down there pretty good. Not very well, but he's there. 
Well, the... And I think that Nitsi will eventually get to Antline. That's... I don't anticipate any necessary issues. I think he is going to... Based on our training that we've done a little bit earlier, I do think he will very shortly just bop over to Hobbs, check to see what that character is, and we've then... Hit... Yep. There, we've hit perfect synchronicity between our runners, and I'm delighted. This seems like such an efficient check to do, to just go and get the hovercraft and then find out who it is waiting inside of the waves, and I cannot tell who that sprite is. Uh, that looked like a Sura to me, which is a blessing and a curse, because Asura is one of those characters that you can, you can kind of cheese your way through, so you're a little sad to see them at an easy spot like that, but it's also one of those fights that's a bit of a pain in the tuchus. So you don't mind seeing it there. Okay, that was confused for a second there about who the recruitable character was. Oh well, we have a we have another white mage. I'm fine with this. Delightful white mage it needs a cure or is not gonna survive the fight, but maybe you don't care. Here's the thing. So, no free bosses is turned on, so we're still going to have to beat this down. We do not get to do the three swings and call it a day. We have to actually hit this guy for all the damage. You know, I, uh, I sometimes forget that DKC is me. Sid has so many hit points, though. This was no problem at all. No, no problem whatsoever. Um, we do see Nitsi kind of uh, messing around a little bit with menus, trying to get Porum up to be able to get some experience here. I think he timed it right. Perfect. The backside of Hobbs did not have the goods. It was, I mean, you know, it was a few thousand gold, but it wasn't some of the big paydays that I've seen some some other uh, seeds. West Hobbs and Woo Bear, of course, calling out West Hobbs best check in the game. Uh, I don't know if that's necessary or <laughs> in this one. Yeah, it's kind of that low roll. That's a low roll West Hobbs, guys. Hey, Avenger Swords. I would love an Avenger Sword. Show me where my cane is, please. I'm loving the, all of this really excellent equipment for lots of characters who are definitely not in the sea. Ooh, cabins, though. Love camping equipment. We do see Mitzi continuing his shopping spree at this point in time. The, the issue that we're running into, unfortunately, is that uh, we're not finding anything in this extra shopping that is going to make a difference right now. JMac is just continuing to check other checks. Uh, it would be one thing if JMac if Nitsi shows us what is what's going on with the shopping. Oh, oh, we have a comedian who's trying to invade Fabul. Yeah, I was just trying to remember. Uh, this doesn't seem like a tough place to face Golbez. I'm trying to remember how silly this is going to be. Uh, it's going to be a little bit silly. Uh, you know, I think Sid could probably take a hit, but uh, everyone else, not entirely sure about. Uh, Nitsi is re-equipping. It is time to, to go on a boss hunting spree, I think. Um, Aaron Lord, no, no veils, and more importantly, we're not going to find veils to shop, because remember, there are no J items available for sale uh, in this flag set, so I'm just not going to see any J items whatsoever. Oh, and ooh. I mean, of course. What, what else was Golbez going to do? No 
it was. I was yep. like, there's a Star Veil in the starter set, I thought. Yeah, I mean, it's in the starter set. You're you're absolutely right. But you only have a handful of those things in the starter set. So you have to be judicious in their use. Oh, wow, the virus didn't kill him. Sid is very tough and has a very high vitality. Ah, but we've got the Y. Golbez is defeated. Tella, the only survivor. This is the, the ultimate reversal of the story of the actual video game. I'm so proud of the old man. Meanwhile, just rewarded with the crystal. Um... Oh, and we got the heroine robe that uh, Porum is now equipped with. So that is available, and Mitzi is now on his way. I think he's done with his shopping. Keep in mind, uh, J-Mac now has two checks up on Mitzi, both Antlion and Fabul. Uh, and it looks like Mitzi is actually going to try to skip and immediately dive right into... Uh, here we are in uh, Baron Town for this Rosa here. That Porum is delightful, but there is a Rosa on the table, and, you know, sometimes it's nice to have a very, very good white mage. Also, giving her a heroin robe, uh, heroin robe is kind of, uh, is kind of power. It is slightly powerful, this is true. Now I am personally sad to see an antlion here instead of Baron Inn, only because I think the antlion belongs in its natural habitat, the moon. It's true, look at those eyes, they clearly belong on the moon. <laughs> uh, how about an evil wall? I tried to picture Rosa just casting aside the big jacket that she's wearing to reveal that she is an entire wall. Yeah, this is uh, this is not a fun in an evil wall immediately punching Tella to knock him over. Um, this is don't Nitsy, don't do that. Don't you just attack? Fight for your life. Whole day, buddy. Whole day. I've completely lost track of J-Mac. I am attempting to uh, reacquire what is going on. Yep, yeah, J-Mac's continuing shopping. Um, I think we're trying to get Tella to, uh, I would blink instead of trying to cure because the punches are going to be hard, personally. We're both going to look like fools when all three of these people are standing at the end of this fight. I mean, yes, you got through. Congratulations. I love you, Nitsi. You did the right thing. Sure. I should never have doubted. I, I don't know where I, what I was thinking. I can't claw. Yeah, cat claw, and there's no XP, so there's no benefit to getting everyone up in that particular spot. So we get Rosa, though. We have Rosa, and we've just gotten a piece of equipment that guarantees that Yang is not in the seed. I'm running out of characters. See, I only cr I only say these things out loud for Nitsy because I care and because I also hear my other two teammates in the background, like from their homes a hundred miles away from me screaming at the screen with the same thing that I'm saying. So uh, yes, Plumeria Knight, I want Yang to appear because I love having a punch mage. I love mages. You 
might be the only person who wants a punch page to appear. <laughs> um, especially in this flag set, Yang has been considered probably one of the least valuable people that oh, we want to be. Oh, don't get me wrong. If I were running this seed, I would not want a Yang. I like watching seeds where, where someone has to figure out, how do I get levels on the mage? I guess I'll fight this boss now. Yeah, typically the answer is, you don't. So that heroine robe, I think is going to end up doing quite a bit of work for Nitsy right now. We saw that J-Max saw it, could not buy it from lack of uh, money. But uh, we've seen that already it's doing a little bit of work in terms of getting through some of these other fights considerably quicker. I like watching J-Mac doing the, the efficient trip down to the underground, getting Sheila 1 primed, uh, and then moving on to, to Town of Monsters to check your freebies. Always remember to check the freebies. And we might get a peek if we're very, very lucky at who the King Queen are. Okay, these are some very good chests so far inside of the Town of Monsters. Oh, just an apple. I love it when a chocobo is selling me just some Cure 2s. Hey, we know where the Crystal Sword is if the guy shows up a little bit. Okay, I'm um, seriously, the, the bad luck you've gotten the best item in slot uh, uh, rule is, is playing that we are out of characters, which I don't think is possible. Oh, that's a horrible, that's a horrible Fey March. Bygen and Octomo? Ugh! That is terrifying. They're, they're both going to go a million miles an hour and they're going to hit for dead. That's uh, so luckily we have three blink casters in our party already with Porum, Rosa, and Tella. But ew, that is a pile of fire arrows. I'm glad I'm not the only one that was wondering if buying that Stardust Rod was worth it, because I don't remember its stats well enough. It's plus 10 to the magic attack spot? Like, it's good if you have a Black Mage. Yeah, Tella can, will do it a pinch, but like, does he really? Look, don't let him hear oh, you say that. He's, okay. he's right there. He could hear you. No, he can't. He he can't hear me. He doesn't have his hearing aid in. Shadow being somewhat merciful and not killing the Sid, but definitely killing the Rosa. JMac doing the underworld tour for shopping it certainly has also is checking you know check the Fate March freebie. And checked, I think we're doing the Sheila one turn in as well, but going right to ordeals. I mean, you can get that Tella online. And check a bunch of bosses, I guess. What are the advantages of, of, of going to ordeals at this point in the scene? Because uh, I that's that's kind of beyond my strategy level. Right now, I think the only advantage that you have is uh, getting your Tella online. It's three bosses. There's no boss hunts right at the moment, um, other than Demis. Um, it's a long cutscene. You have your Sid hero, which certainly can take care of it. Um, but if you're not looking to immediately get your Tella fully online, now he's your only warp caster so if you're looking to do that before doing dwarf castle to get your warp online to to wombo that i can see that 
or float to get that before you do sylph traps, you can do that. Um, but other than that, eh, like I, I'm not thrilled with the ordeals play. I understand why you would do it. I'm just not thrilled with it. I'm sitting here racking my brain asking, is it possible with this group to handle dwarf to get there to do the warp check? I mean, heroin rope porum plus a rosa. If tell you what, if here's what you would have to do. If you immediately go to Eblin Castle, take all the trap chests <laughs> there for the experience. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, that's what the Earth Hammer's for, right? The Earth Hammer is here for it. Also, all of these all of these kids want some levels, you know. This is great, honestly. You could be in a much, much worse spot. Please tell me that you still get XP from the gauntlet, and I haven't made the same mistake twice now. No, you, you still get XP from the gauntlet. You get the XP from the gauntlet even if it's at spots that normally give no experience. Excellent. Thank goodness. I I see you, JP, and I see your sarcasm that I just, like, dismiss the Stardust Rod, and you're like, well, Stardust Rod would be pretty good right about now. I see you, and I agree. You're right. I love having myself a free AoE just in my pocket for fighting, you know, groups of mobs. It doesn't come up much, you know, in the rando, but it's coming up now. And we see Nitsi is doing exactly uh, what I predicted. This is what happens when you train together as a team. You can call their plays, guys. I'm just saying. It is time to kill all of the trap chests. It is time to kill all of the trap chests. Absolutely. And Nitsi, that is not the way you kill all the trap chests by casting an Earth Hammer. <laughs> That's going to do a whopping one. Oh, it high rolled. You know, now the hourglass is out, though, and oh my gosh, that heroin robe. Really? All right, we're about to see the back attack slot. We're all prepped. Everyone's healed up. What's, what is it? Everyone's favorite dude. It hits it for one damage. It will do that um, 913 more times. I notice Nitsi isn't even worried about Tellas getting any experience here. He's like, no, nah, you serve one purpose and one purpose only, dog. <laughs> He's not worried about it. That was a relatively free Murasame. Where is the Prince of Evelyn? I to guess, not appearing in this scene. But, you know, that's... We still haven't seen, so there it's distinct seven. So we've seen four of the seven characters up to this point in time. I hadn't considered how silly it would look to see one of the 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 star blinkies just fall into the deep ravine. It can be absurd. It really can. Aaron Lore, no, this seed uh, is in the finals, therefore it is the cutting edge at this point in time. Uh -huh. Boo! Boo! Meanwhile, J-Mac finds a life staff and just uh, King and Queen Evelyn. This is a bit disappointing. If you see this fight, you want it to be in a more difficult area than this. Uh, you're happy that it's fairly quick, but... <laughs> I'm narratively fascinated that the dark side of 
the dark reflection of Sid is King and Queen Eblin, leading me to all sorts of questions about the narrative of this game. Uh, I, I think this is why we don't read too deep into the randomizer itself. My entire archive of our own page has been destroyed. How dare you? If that's all it took, I'm sorry. That's an earth crystal. It is. I like it. I like it lots. In fact, I think that's our next stop immediately after we open this last chest. I mean, it's got to be right. There are gated characters up there. There's... That's all I'm thinking of. I, there, there are holes in the party. They need pilling. Yeah, absolutely. I love seeing that. And I I also... It's, it's funny. Look, as long as there's a slight chance that the Earth Camera is going to prove useful, we're going to keep doing it. Like, I get it. I get it. I do. I'm still stunned by the visual effect. Everything's fine. Keep going, Nitsy. Oh, hey, a moon veil. Uh, that's a moon veil. That's, that's something is free. Absolutely. I will take that. Um, it's not progression, but it's nice to see. It's some very hard boss who's suddenly very good. That's not even hard. Oh my gosh. Okay, Fading Evelyn is basically the worst thing you can do right now. I guess none of that's a hook. Now, you're, you're absolutely right. But, uh, Nitsi, you know exactly what you need to do. And, okay, I, I guess since you're in the vicinity, go ahead and open that up. That's great. Yeah, Plumeria, as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, darn, those could both be dead ends. But one of them has music. Music is the secret key item. And if there's one thing that I've learned about this community over my many, many years of commentating, uh, we like our unique means. Like, if we have something that's unique to us, we will wholeheartedly embrace it. JMac is picking up their Rosa right now. It's, uh, it's a fight against the evil wall again. We have a Berserk coming out. No need to hold A. We've got a spell for that. Hey, tell him you get the sense. Yeah, you get the sense that was a little bit easier of a of a Evo Wall fight on J Max side. Aaron Lore, I see your prediction in chat, and I love it. Let's do that. That's mean. I like it a lot. That's what I always say. It's like, as long as I'm not the one racing it, yeah, guys, be as mean as you want to the racers, because I'm not the one in this seat right now. It's so fascinating to see the divergence. Like, honestly, both these runners, like, have a lot of the same goals. They've got the same sort of micro strategies. And at the same time, j Max done the first tour of the Underground, and Mitzi is just getting to his first tour of the Underground. And it's fascinating because we know what they're going to catch, but I'm actually really curious to see where the next place that Nitsi is going to go after this. Because once they've got the information, I'm, I'm very curious. Oh, the answer is we're doing the fight. Okay.
Or I could be wrong. I just thought that with the uh, the, the quick equip there, that it was going to be a trip into the fight. No, I guess uh, Nitsi decided he, he heard telepathic calls that was saying, What are you doing? Uh, he, he definitely looked confused there for a second and said, Hey, I have some other options that I should be following. I like that swag life glitch on the, one of the Mad Ogres there to try to get more experience out of them. Because uh, experience is honestly so hard to come by sometimes inside of this flag set, so it's really good to see a quick life group glitch just when you have the opportunity. Okay, so Nitsi went above ground to make a quick mist cave check and then is coming back into the underground. Okay, Xenocat is coming up with even more cursed roots on the fly here in chat, and I do have to say the rat tail required in Adamant is pretty delicious. Everyone stop punching Rosa, I want her to have the healing spells. Oh good, the stale man's berserked. Oh, well, he's dead. Aaron Lore, I can absolutely confirm that is a question that you must answer when requesting to join the Restream team. Absolutely. Every now and then I wish we could have our runner's audio because I really would have liked to hear both Nitsi and JMac responding to the results of the two chests that they're that, that, that JMac is going into right now. Just like two key items back to back is just delightful. All right, so last bit of shopping for Nitsi. Meanwhile, um, this is interesting because we have JMac attempting to save one of those, um, one of those hourglasses on this end. The idea being which, if you can save an hourglass and not use them all in Evelyn, you can use them for additional experience in some place like the Moon for the hairdryer chest or in the Warrior chest on your way to the Fae March. That small child just assassinated Rosa, and that is one of the greatest betrayals of all time. Kane, you have lost your crown. That's a bold statement. Orem was like, I was on a secret quest for Missidia, and that is kill Rosa. J Mac is armed with a with an earth crystal and a and a twin harp. It is exciting times. Where will she go next? Also, I well, love those cure twos and Nitsy Bile bought a pile of them, so I feel foolish. Crystal rings are a snap buy. And I see that Nitsy did buy those, so great job to him on buying those. Those are fantastic. Um, J-Mac is doing exactly what I kind of wish Nitsi would have done. He says, Twin Harp Earth Crystal? Yes, I'll do that combination all day, our day. And is immediately turning in the Twin Harp into the Earth Crystal. J-Mac, hero of the people, has decided to bring music to our ears. I cannot remember if J-Mac bought all those crystal rings. I don't believe she did. J-Mac has not done near the looting that uh, Nitsi has done, so it has not had the catch to be able to do anything like that up to this point in time. Uh, 
I'm taking a look at our objectives and it's kind of wild to be like, wow, we don't know where the locking items are, but I guess it's about time. Well, it's almost time for music. It's almost time for music, yeah. It does look like Nitsi has said, hey, let's go ahead and get our Tella online, which hurts me a lot. Well, well, they, 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 they're they still hoping to do that dwarf casual check, I think, relatively soon. And they I want mean, I, under I understand it. I do. But, like, you have an Earth Crystal. You might not have to tell it too much longer, man. Okay, who do you want to be at the top of Zot at this point? Rydia Cecil. Gosh, that's so cruel. I mean, okay, Rydia Cecil, me, and I guess then there is a reason for doing this ordeals. So it's not bad. But, like, I still, I'm, that doesn't change the pain of sitting through all of this. You've got your fully online paladin. Nobody's bought the crystal sword yet, but it's there. We all know where it is. That being said, uh, it is time for DJ Spoony B to share his dulcet tones with us. Uh, yeah. So here we go, gang. This is what we've all been waiting for. All right, so J-Mac does get through that little bit of a rude bow fight, but we get through it um, pretty quickly. I did not recognize that song, and even though they talked to the harp, I did not see what the harp said. Hey, Rattail! <laughs> Rattail, happy to see that. Xenocat said that wasn't even a full loop of it. It was, it was from some Final Fantasy from the play... FF8? Okay, Davis. We'll, we'll believe you, Davis. Oh, Dragon Quest 8. Okay. Oh, well, I'm excited now. Somebody, somebody's speaking my language. Why didn't I recognize that song? Meanwhile, J-Mac is comboing the harp into... Oh, and decided, yeah, I need some extra money. Is absolutely going to loot out this treasury. We'll see how valuable this treasury actually is. It is time for us to rate that treasury. Rate that treasury! Uh, A-plus already. That is so much money. I love that, that, I love that, that was the, 500. 
that was the single highest. I thought I thought it was a hundred and seven thousand. I think I saw. That was the best treasury I've ever seen in Potion Party. I am desperate to know what was in that chest. Because in the background, those chests are full of items, which are then immediately sold when you open them, if I understand correctly. Yeah, it's, it's effectively the money equivalent of what would happen if that was around, so... That might have been like an Avenger sword or or something along the... It, it was a lot. It was... yeah. Xenocat is saying that it would be a crystal sword. Oh. Ah. Oh, There is some okay. discussion being had, but I was like, the only thing I can think of is a crystal sword. All I know is J-Mac now does not have to worry about money for the rest of the sea. Tower of Zot, where Final Fantasy reminds us that it is in fact a sci-fi. Look, Final Fantasy IV was just the transition from knights and soldiers and everything into the steampunky, like, you know, futuristic sci-fi sort of Final Fantasy. This is the bridge years. The bridge years, not to be confused with any other kind of years that could be associated with Final Fantasy IV. We have a pupper. All right, so Nitsi has decided that instead of following the Twin Heart Earth Crystal, uh, he says, hey, those were available pretty early. We're going to go ahead and keep diving deeper into the sea. And OK, I, I, I'm picking up what he's putting down now. He's saying, let's do, let's get everything set up to do Dwarf Castle now. And the flame dog was only carrying a siren, which I must imagine was the most annoying chew toy in the world, and all of the inhabitants of Zod are now thankful. Oh, we're going to have a whole bunch of boss fights just in a row here in a second, huh? Good yeah, luck, we're boss. going all the... Hey, we have the Bahamut. That is free-ish at a very bad spot for that. And the Magert sisters have been replaced by Leg Day. Never skip Leg Day. I love to see a runner look through their items and pray. Uh, that heroine, Rogue Rosa, is doing what the kids like to call uh, work. Yeah, that uh, that King of Dragons is not long for this world. They are going home riddled, riddled full of arrow holes. Oh, good lord, Porum! Who taught you to do that? Uh, she's not called the murder child. Colloquially, for no reason. Look, I thought it was only the quack kid who specialized in murder in this family, but as it turns out, there are hidden talents in us all. Now oh, here's a sparkle and just <laughs> tell a duplicate. Womp womp. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Hey, I'll take that deep breath. Let's, I mean, this does not have terribly high HP. We just gotta like hurry up and and do lots of damage. Okay. Look, I like that we basically had the two different DPS races back to back. Uh, they were just easy because of where we are. Can deep breath be friendship? No, that's not. 
French vanilla. I mean, yes, it's a dragon move, and clearly Wyvern is not a dragon. I mean, come on, guys. Wait, are you telling me, a person who has a pair of working eyes who just saw two dragons, that those were not dragons I see before me? Are you going to tell me now that D-Mist stands for something like a standard first name? I mean, it stands for Dragon Mist, but it doesn't count for dragon damage when it comes to how this game was programmed, because reasons. Oh, we, oh gosh, you called it. Also, we have a paladin in the sky. Rosa and Cecil reunited. Uh, OTP. See, see OTP in the chat. I mean, okay, that crystal sword is looking really nice. Uh, meanwhile, we get a white shirt and a pan from doing Dwarf Castle. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, man. Nitsy. Did we skip the warp glitch? No, he did. He, it was a white shirt. Okay, everything's fine. Now we just have to question Dwarven fashion sense, which honestly, the pan, I've seen worse. So that Cecil is going to be a big pickup for J-Mac. Doesn't have any equipment for him yet, but we know that there's a crystal sword sitting, I believe, in the Fey March, which yeah, is just not the all Fae that to get. Yeah, and let us remember that J-Mac is as rich as anyone has been. Yeah, so... All right, so... At this point, Nitsi is going to be doing and following this through, and if it does not lead to some sort of value, I gotta think that he follow up the twin heart, defense sword. Or... Love me a defense sword. You know, every now and then you just want to tank. It's not a crystal sword. It's not. I mean, it's it's perfectly functional if you have no other recourse. But I think that's the problem. <laughs> it's that you you have better options. Uh, Wu Bear Avenger was in one of the shops. Was it in Mysidia? I don't think so. It was somewhere. Oh, it was in Kabul? Oh, oh boy. Okay, Sheila, what do you have for us? Darkness, 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 darkness. Okay, Moon Veil. We, we knew about the Moon Veil. Everything's fine. Dragoon Spear. Okay. Well, huh. Alas, honestly. Alas, alack. Artemis arrows for J-Mac, just for, for making that just be a, a meaner person to berserk. Octoman is down there with Bygen, Blue Bear. Yeah, Bygen and Octoman. No saying Bygen. Yeah, that Moonvale is going to come in handy for specifically the Octomum. Um, Bygen, it, it could be. You just got to make sure to take care of that vampiring uh, back arm consistently. And Nitsi is going to be looting here as well. Oh, interesting. J-Mac readying for battle, but not going... Has she not seen the Crystal Sword? I don't know if she has or not. Um, that would be really interesting, because we know Nitsi has seen it, and I know Nitsi takes pretty good notes when he does his run-throughs. I mean, this is still going to be the story of Paladin... Good well, of this party going burr through these bosses, I think they're they're extremely powerful right now. Um, but still, you know, every now and then you like to see the crystal sword doing its job. 
Here's something that's a little bit interesting. Mitzi is dodging the Fey March. He says, that is a long check. It is a long cutscene. I want no part of it. I will come back later if it's needed. Uh, we know that I don't think there was anything necessarily useful there. Everyone's getting zerked up. Bahamut is going to be having, oh, less bad a day. Uh, I guess we don't have as many levels here on Rosa, so we're not, oh, okay. No, we were just seeing some bad shots. Yeah, Rosa can get through that pretty quickly. Meanwhile, the plain dog chest over here is being taken on by Nitsi. I think this was pretty straightforward. Nothing to write home about. Yeah, there was nothing particularly special inside of it. It was a siren, I think. Yeah. Worst That's dog right. chew toy. That's right. Worth noting, of course, that random encounters, including siren encounters, do not give any experience uh, in this particular flag set. So no way to grind right now. You just have to fight a bunch of extra bosses. Luckily, it's win game, which means as soon as we have six of the eight objectives, we win. We do not have to defeat Zeromus. Yeah, although honestly, Bygone and Octoman at the King and Queen spots, uh, if Cape Bahamut is super rude, or the vanilla mass immune altar, we're gonna start seeing that's, you have to do some of those. So you need levels, you need power somewhere. I think the optimum is going to be straightforward because we do have that moon veil and that's that's a free win on an optimum. You throw the moon veil up and he will have perfect dodge, whoever you throw the moon veil up on. If you give it to your Cecil and then throw the Avenger on, it's, it's all smooth sailings from there. You know, I had missed that it was a white robe down there. Honestly, that's all right. I'll take it. I mean, we got a couple heroin robes from for our uh, murder white mages because they're just they're shooting a bunch of arrows on both teams right at the moment. It's very fun to see the shop checks now sitting there going, how do I make this paladin go? Can someone make the paladin go? I mean, we know how to make the paladin go and we're right there. Um, it's just a matter of, okay, it's in the pay march. You're gonna get your crystal sword. Yeah, the question <laughs> is, is Jmac going to do better than us and remember where that Avenger is and go there first? Interesting. Throwing on the lit arrows tells me that she's getting ready to open these treasure chests. Uh, we have not been to tower yet. No tower key. So towerless, but there's still five checks that we can do. Four trap chests and, of course, top of tower. I have seen tower have the goods in this tournament a shocking number of times, and it is it is delightful. I like anything that will incentivize people to do keyless tower just because keyless tower is inherently funny. All right, Nitsi, we'll see what you decide to do here with your party. Meanwhile, J-Mac, uh, okay, first trap chest, just a Boreas. Goodbye, Young. Nobody wants you in your party, even though you're a perfectly fine punch mage.
Nitsi, you have a defense sword to put on him. Pretty please. Tower key was in tower. They had just hid it in the... It's like the worst security protocol in the world. They put the key under the doormat. Eh, I've seen worse security systems. It's gonna be vanilla Dark Elves, I know it. They would just hide the key in a box nearby. Dark imps. Did I say elves? I may have said it. I meant imps. Dark elves. You said you said elves, but I didn't know you meant imps. It's okay. Look, there was a dark elf on screen. I was very confused suddenly. Can you imagine three dark elves, like, all trying to cast at you all at the same time? Mostly it's that that triple attack animation would last forever. I love how epic that animation is to do two-digit damage. All right, so the Dark Elf is halfway done. j -Mac continues to climb. Uh, we've seen, what, three trap chests up to this point? I like that because no one has picked up the Crystal Sword, that we have this delightful reversal where we have the two healers repeatedly shooting the Dark Elf for a thousand damage, and then you have Cecil dealing 20, 38. That is an option that he does not have to do because he has a defense sword if he would just equip. Sorry, I'm getting heated. Mitzi, buddy. Look, the Dark Elf is dead. Everything's clearly working. I'm going to just sit here and do my job and commentate, and we're going to discuss the scene in a neutral manner. Has there been anything interesting in the trap chest other than the tower key? The pink tail is in there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what we really need to have happen is also have the hook drop out of this thing, just so the tower is perfect. Uh, the tower key was inside of one of the trap chests, put there by the security officers of the tower. Great job. I'm waiting for the hook to be somewhere super rude, like... Uh, last arm on the giant. Uh, the hook is just... Uh, isn't there a, a trap chest actually on the moon? There's a hairdryer chest, yes, that is included in everything, but that's doable and usually right there. And uh, yeah, we probably won't do it this late, but it's still a, a key item check. The last arm is out of the way. I did not even realize there was a trap chest inside the last arm. I, I never thought of it. Yeah, and that one counts. I feel a lot less bad at uh, at, at remembering things that, that no one can remember where the Avenger Sword is. Well, no one playing. It, it kind of refreshes you a little bit. You're like, oh, everyone's bad. Cool. Uh, that was a perfectly executed uh, murder of an Odin, I think. Uh, I, I love to see the lightning bolt come down while the sword's raised. It makes me feel good in my little gamer heart. So Nitz is on his way to pick up that crystal sword, I think. Nitzy immediately remembered where that crystal sword is. I hope this is what he is doing and not uh, checking, hey, I can do these bosses, right? Going straight into the bosses. Just right into it. Do it. Do it for us. Remember. Go, go to the weapon shop, Nitsy. Okay, go on and get in the save first. Sure, okay, that's everything's fine. Yeah, get, get all healed up so that you can talk to the weapon shop owner. Oh, 
hey, it's guards are guarding. Oh, it's the soldiers and officer fight is is guarding the uh, the cannon. Okay, thank goodness. Nitsy yes, Nitsy, I could kiss you. Kind of wish that Sid had something better than an earth hammer. I'm starting to feel bad for the old man. That red robe might be my least favorite NPC in the entire game. Uh, so we have our first objective on the board. With that, J-Mac has destroyed the super cannon after defeating the soldier and the guards, or the soldier and the captains. Congratulations for being the first person to put points on the board. Oh, here comes... Okay, we're doing Bygen first. Okay, this is... Why is everyone at one? Because he thought Cecil could protect everyone. And that's not how this works. I think we have overestimated the power of the white robe. Yeah, now now's the time Hook, to Hook was Hook was at the end of tower! Oh no. Oh no, J Mac, that is incredible. You are set up to do immediately do two more of the objectives. Uh what is the rat tail going to get us anything special in this seed? That's that's go mode. That's uh, that go is mode. fully go mode. Uh do we have darkness? Oh we, okay, we don't have darkness. We don't Here we on. don't we don't have darkness, but if darkness is behind the pink tail, I am going to laugh. Move down, 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 okay. And he gets punched immediately. Good night, sweet prince. We have all the right parts to do these fights. I think, I think this is actually going to work out. We do but here's the problem these spots are only objectives that do not lead to any additional key items so while yes they are entirely doable they are not what i would say are a priority right now yeah since both k moon and k summon are turned off inside of this flag set these can only essentially, there's no doubling up on these. They can't result in you getting a second objective just right out of them. Um, so it, it does make sense to maybe delay them, but heck, I think we're all hungry for levels. So I can see a, gosh, it hits so hard, huh? Yeah, Octomom punches quite hard here. Sid would have barely survived at full health. And honestly, Sid's real high. And Cecil can't protect people if he has low HP and he is not currently moon veiled. Oh, but they are they are cutting off these limbs very quickly. Octo ma'am, maybe your days are numbered. J Mac with the off center stone cast from Tella onto the warrior chest. I am imp I am impressed with the old man. He is he is pulling his weight 
That was a sand ruby. We're not going to use it, but it's nice to have. You could wake up a uh, third Tella. Well, most importantly, that's 10 key items, though. Oh, goodness. Uh, we have a bonk. We have a bonk. The The race is over. Somebody bonked trying to get out of the underground. Uh, sad times. Uh, we have to remove an objective. That's not how anything works. I just love to count bombs. All right. Nitsi is set up to allow... Okay, he's through the Octomum fight. That is seven levels on Cecil. That will help him get some of those levels that he clearly so desperately needs so he can get some hit points. And a Zeus Gauntlet so that he can punch someone in the face. Yeah, that crystal sword is going to be nice with everything else, but uh, I think the problem is... Okay, here here's the interesting thing. We know at this point in time, we've checked just about everything. I think the only trap chests that we haven't chest checked are in Silk Cave. Uh, it's just a matter of, okay, who goes and does Silk first to get the Darkness Crystal to be in true go mode? Nitsi will still have to do, bare minimum... Get the uh, get the tower key, and then turn the tower key in. You can dodge everything else in tower. Doubt he'll do that. He'll probably full clear it. But that's kind of the setup that we're at right now, right? Yeah, I think so. And I, I would also note that uh, J Mac has shamed me specifically by remembering the Avengers inside of Fabul. I know that Chad has told me several times, but really, there's just nothing going on in this head of mine. Uh, and uh, I think is probably never going to find that crystal sword. There is no reason to check the weapon shop again. So unless there's another crystal sword in the seed, that is a significant difference between our runners. Yes. So this will come down to if Nitsi can leverage that uh, crystal sword power at this point in time. And it can be a little bit tough. I'm certainly doing the right things right now to leverage back row Cecil at this point in time, letting everyone else zerk up and just letting Cecil protect. Yeah, cover strats can be so effective. And like at the moment we get him more defense, uh, more survivability. It's just going to be a, a, a powerhouse that can carry you through the seed. I realize that mathematically it basically can't be, but I do kind of want the person at the end of this, uh, uh, this cave Evelyn to just be another Tella. Meanwhile, J Mac is doing the two trap chests that are in the, uh, you know, the underground path, which of course could also be where our darkness is. So I don't want to be too premature in terms of saying, hey, it's absolutely in the self cave. But uh, meanwhile, Nitsi is clearing out this Vigan. Okay, just an Artemis bow. Nice, but eh. we already have the deadliest archers on all of the blue planet. We just needed to give them something more. I really want that darkness crystal to be in the, the giant. Genuinely, I'm I'm there for it. Wait, that it can't be. But that's badness. What am I thinking? J Mac resets out, does not continue on into the investment of time into seeing if it's the for Mad Ogre chest. We've got a we've got some tails to turn in, I think. Yeah, this is this is really the correct play. Like it's your objectives. 
and it's gonna get you some nice items. Like it, this is the right play to make. Baron Key. Oh, what? Why? Why reset? That's an objective. Oh, now they're going to continue down the path. Oh, they were just checking to see real quick if that was the darkness crystal. Yeah, if uh, that was darkness, they're leaving. They're checking a character. They're going to Cave Bahamut. They're 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 going to scout ahead and figure out who they need to kill. So here's the thing, Nitz is doing a fantastic job right now of doing a very difficult boss at a relatively low level. The problem is he's spending a lot of time doing it right now, and I think that might bite him in the end. Yeah, that fight, uh, that Vigan fight took a while. It was an incredible show of skill, though. That was, that was an excellently executed, long, difficult fight. Also, would you like a Bahamut? Here's the problem, Dubboard. Nitsi doesn't have 10 key items. He did not get the 10 key item levels from those fights. Oh, golly, that's true. That's right. Now he's backing out, going to be doing the 10 key items check through uh, through the Fey March and says, hey, as long as my Cecil is back road, uh, I'm good to cover everyone. This is really the power of Cecil, in addition to him being just the best melee fighter, you know, in his own class at this point in time. Uh, he's just fantastic in terms of the cover strats. Mad Ogres had the package, which is a little confusing once again, narratively, but I think it's fine. They must have been prepping the bomb ring to give to the King of Baron. Everything makes sense. There's no inconsistencies whatsoever. So it's either in Baron or it is in the Sylph chest. And it's just a matter of who gets there first. I tend to think that if J Mac is going to be turning in this rat tail and pink tail right now, she will be leveraging going into Baron in. I hope that Nitsi can get into the Sylph Cave and leverage those. Keep in mind, he also has not done any of Tower at this point in time. And Tower does have a whole load of goods. That is a crystal sword. Uh, we have the equivalent exchange has been satisfied. Both teams now have a fully online crystal sword, Cecil. Uh, it is a delight to be here. Yep, and here goes J Mac immediately to Baron. Do not fault this play at all. This is the logical play following the objectives, the gambles that you've made. Yep, absolutely. Um, I also continue to be delighted by every time that Tella attempts to cast stone on something. I think I saw a stone cast a moment ago. We have not found the the D mist yet, so it's it's somewhere out it's there. It's still we're, out there. Yeah, we're about to do three boss checks uh, over here on J Max side, so hopefully we will find a, a D mist. But I am hoping for a moon D mist. I love to send people back and forth to the blue planet. Dathis, of course, in chat, our, our wonderful restreamer, saying, let's make another package required. Uh, that would 
be something. Uh, that's not something that we've seen terribly frequently in these flag sets, but it is doable and possible if the D-Mist is hiding out at that boss spot from the package and that D-Mist is holding the Darkness Crystal, which is just really kind of small percentage play that we'd love to see. And J-Mac knows where the package is, but did reset out, so does not have it. So it does put us in a wonderful position of being able to say, you can fully check every location in this seed. Honestly, for our finals, it is delightful to see uh, a terrifying situation where we end up with, with, with every boss being killed, or at least met. Yep, Orbs was the, the first boss that we got to see. This, with the levels that we have presently, this should be no problem whatsoever. Oh. I'll, although I will say that Sid being named Odin is continuing to confuse me every time I look over. Thinking, but Odin's dead. We, we did that. That is some confidence to just bait out the Globe 99 and just not care. Yeah, that was one of those, oh, you accidentally uh, knocked over the other orb. Oops. And then immediately swipe the back end with the crystal sword and you're good. Is that a water hang? Yeah, that's a water hang. <laughs> So, I mean, no free bosses is on, and yet this is still water hack. It's no free bosses, yes. Um, which means we'll still have the cutscene. We might out damage the damage threshold here and kill water hack with Anna still on the field. We've just set up a circumstance that could be the most traumatic possible for Tella, as Tella watches his daughter crumble into dust. That is interesting. I've never seen that, that, that Anna is actually part of the crumble. <laughs> She's back! She appears. She's already a ghost. Like, what more do you want? What? Haunted forever, Tella. There is no rest for you. You even defeated Golbez earlier in the seed on your own. There is our seventh character. Palum finally makes an appearance. Too little, too wit late, Quick Kid. Yeah, that Quack Kid would have been very welcome earlier. Uh, Quack Kid is incredible for clearing trap chests. Oh, thanks, Evil Wall. You saved our lives. A ribbon is a nice item to get and all, but given where it came from, seemingly a chamber pot, I'm not excited to wear that. Look, it's just a ribbon. It's not... Oh, this is... Okay, so this is flat out a mistake from JMAC. There is literally zero reason to go into this basement. This is not a key item. Right, in case someone cannot have, uh, cannot have any kind of key item. So, uh... Oh, Unless we're chasing mist. levels or yeah, checking yeah. for D-Mist, that's true. D -mist, yeah. Okay, that's fair. And a sparkle is not good enough for us. J-Mac is having my exact experience of landing this airship. I feel very seen. I feel represented on the stream. Does look like J Mac is now setting up and preparing for these silk trap chests, which makes sense. Uh, we're we're running out of spots to go at this point in time. Yeah, this darkness crystal has to be somewhere. 
Uh, and uh, I'm really getting suspicious about this uh, demist at the package check. Xenocat, I see you. Golbez's sister Odin at the top of the tower. I see what you're talking about. Do we have a Luka key? We do not yet. Okay. We have no idea where that we is. We do not, no. No, me, somebody who really hates being hit by status effects, actually, this trap test is terrifying to me. You're not alone. It's one of those... Silk trap chests are one of those, if you have a good agility setup, you're fine. Like, RA1 setup to have someone sweep through with a quake or a leviathan, you're good. But that's not what happens in 90% of cases. It is actually kind of interesting. I was sitting there watching them berserk up, you know, their their attackers here, and it's just, well, you reversed the toad. Good job, guys. Uh, but it is just kind of interesting to be like, there's no AoE capability in this team at all. I mean, we've got Pella, but don't talk to me. Yeah, that's, that's not... Yeah. Hooray, golden apple! That's a fantastic question. Where was the rat tail? Uh, was it? It wasn't also in what? No, it wasn't in the tower trap chest. Where was the rat tail? Harp. That's right. Oh. And Nitsy skipped harp. Well, Harp will be back around, and we'll get to hear more of that Dragon Quest VIII soundtrack, and I will hopefully recognize it this time. So in order for Nitsi to be able to continue to dodge that Harp, um, let's see, we don't have either sides of Forge at this point in time. We So we have Super Cannon, Pink Tab. Okay, so as long as we have, get the Darkness Crystal, we're still set. Because we can do Kate Bahamut, Masamune, and skip Forge and Rat Tail. Because we've already destroyed the Super Cannon. Yeah, I'm actually getting kind of impressed that we have neither half of Forge, because... Forge isn't going to be on the moon, uh, except if it's in the hairdryer. One of it is in the hairdryer chest. So I'm just kind of statistically befuddled that we have neither half right now. It does seem odd. Absolutely. Because we're an hour and a half in. We have made a lot of checks in this game. Uh, these two runners are extremely efficient. All right, so we have Nitsi going down and diving to get at least one, if not two, of the trap chests here uh, in the underground prior to turning into Pinktail. I like this play because I think he's checking for Rat Tail for these, just to make the more efficient turn in. You know, J-Mac did not check the item store there, and I am delighted to see Elixirs. <laughs> I guess we're not fighting uh, Z at the end of this, but at the same time, Elixirs make me feel comfortable and safe.
Mitzi going full defense on his Cecil, equipping the crystal armor and the glass hat. Now, the the crystal armor prevents him from zerking up with that crystal sword, which can be a bit of a detriment, but he has a couple of archers, and there's been so much physical damage up to this point in time. You know, it's really made it a little bit easier to to just clear through everything. Does the Avenger Sword bypass the Berserk block? It does. So if you get the Avenger Sword, it will auto-Berserk regardless of what armor you have on. So that is still possible. Yeah, and you could get away then with using the... Equip them with the Crystal Sword, go into the fight, give them an Avenger, and they still are swinging for Crystal Sword damage afterwards, I think. Unless I've forgotten how things work again. Nope, that's correct. Darkness Crystal, J-Mac has found the Darkness Crystal and is now in full go mode. It was there in Sylph. We are going to see a lot of bosses die horrible deaths very soon. And J-Mac is doing the logical thing and saying, hey, I could end it all, but I have to defeat these bosses first. Yep, fully armed with a few more levels going into this fight. And uh, honestly, maybe better, ge much better gear than uh, when Nitsi went in. I don't think the Bygan fight is going to last nearly as long. But we are not going to be going for cover strats. We have placed a cabin. We are camping. Yeah, we're in the low 30, low, um, mid to high 30s, actually, for the party. Not quite level 40 with anyone, but uh, it's, it's high enough levels that I think we can get through it pretty easily. Equip some lit arrows, so I think we're taking that optimum first. Nitsi is about to find the package. Will this be an instant reset as well, or are they going to follow the whole hook route? Good night, Tella. You're you're not going to be missed. No, no, not whatsoever. If Tella is awake again at any point in this seed, I'm going to assume it was a mistake. Nitsi is leaving, taking that package out. Nitsi is going to check whether uh, whether the Demist is hiding behind the package. I am. That is my guess. Yeah. At this point, we know that's not exactly the right answer. At this point in time, I think Nitsi may feel a little bit behind, but nope. Okay, gonna go turning the pink tail. At this point, it's just a matter of time. Can Nitsi go? get the darkness crystal before J-Mac finishes up the uh, the other uh, Fey March boss in Baigan. Now I'm curious. No, absolutely not. J-Mac is not stopping for anything and just believes I can kill Bygen. There's no risk of dying here. I don't need to save. It's just time to, to murder some royalty. So here goes Nitsi, uh, finally saying, hey, yeah, remember that uh, twin heart that I could have routed together a while ago? Now's my time to go do that prior to doing self cave.
that's going to result in us getting a rat tail over there. Do I remember that correctly? That's right. So this is a good check. Um, the problem is it's not going to lead to the darkness right now. Not right away. It will still be useful. I can't remember what was behind the rat tail itself. Uh, it's not a darkness crystal, but but we're on the trajectory of uh, of catching the uh, of catching these uh, these monsters and ca and getting to them, getting all the right key items. Uh, it is rude to have the darkness crystal just hidden in a box in Silk Cave. That is that is rough. Mm -hmm. Yep, a little bit. Um, in the meantime, uh, J Mac working her way through all of that. We know where the Darkness Crystal is. Only one of the bosses on the moon needs to be defeated, either Bahamut or Masamune Altar. Um, at this point, it's, you know, J Mac is looking very strong at this point in time versus Nitsi, who will get, be getting the Rat Tail, but still has not found the Darkness Crystal. It was kind of deep in the backside of Self Cave, if I remember right. Yeah, it was it was it was one of the last checks possible there. This biking is putting up a fight. I maybe had too much faith in Crystal Sword Cecil. That's a lot of points. At these levels, it's really difficult to foresee J Mac falling on this one. Yeah, it'd be really tough. Is is uh, is her Cecil also wearing a uh, Berserk free helmet? I don't believe so. I believe we have a black belt on Cecil's side here. Music. You know, Zuna Cat was disappointed to not get an entire full loop last time that song played, and I must say that was that was even shorter. Considerably shorter. Yep. Uh, that song's lovely, though. I will have to add it to a play playlist. It's kind of funny that bygone fight. That bygone fight took quite a while. Still, it is easy to forget when always thinking about like oh getting ready for the z fight that the summon monsters fights can be very very tough uh and bygan is one of our ruder bosses in the pool i think that was that was very skillful and honestly i was on the edge of my seat but now through and with darkness crystal only one more objective i got to imagine Cape Bahamut is going to be the preferred location at this point in time. you got to check it. What would be there that would make you fade it at this point? That we haven't seen yet? I mean, I guess like Ogo, presumably, would be pretty rough. With this party, Ogo, I, I would be fine with, honestly. I don't know if there's anything that would be on there. Mom Bomb, me. Uh, I do actually, uh, Plumeria Knight suggests dark imps, and I do, like, I find the dark imps on the moon to be terrifying, but that's only because my first seed that I ever played was just me getting destroyed by the dark imps who were in, like, the wyvern altar for some reason.
Maybe not there. They were someplace very fast. And now we see Mitzi, who uh, is doing the self-cave, so we know this is the correct play, uh, while J-Mac is on her way to the final objective. It's so interesting. We know that Mitzi is, like, at the gate, but also we have perfectly matched objectives right now. Everyone, like, the 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 gates here were actually pretty clearly laid out in the seed because honestly checking the silk cave is relatively late inside of your uh, your your list of uh tra of trap chests to check um they're all pretty slow checks because of all these status effects and it's wild to see the runners uh on the scoreboard so close to each other uh and yet right now we are seeing uh jmac uh descending upon the lunar subterrain uh to oh is this uh Cave Bahamut? It is, yes. It is Cave Bahamut. So who's no fun is going to kick tonight, everyone? No peek. Uh, sparkle. Is it Ogo? No, it's just Derek Lunar. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's, that's bold, because these guys are punchy and already just throwing the Avenger on Cecil. Yeah, but Crystal Sword Cecil doing quad nines is going to make short work of these guys. Just trying to outrun that. Yeah, but okay, Virus can hit hard and between the fires and the viruses. I'm staring in rapt attention at what move the oh that is a dead lunar. That virus oh, yeah, not hitting yeah. hard enough. Okay, that's over. Good lord, is that it? Is that is that game J Mac? That, that's game J Mac. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Done. Yeah, and you know, 141 and some change. GG's to J Mac with the win. So Team Wombat Milk up 1 0 going into tonight's races, and we are joined by J Mac. GG's. Thank you. Thank you. I, I say that with all the salt in my mouth, by the way. I just want to. <laughs> Look, we're friends, it's all fun. Me as a longtime fan of the library sciences is delighted to see uh, the this thorough checking of all the checks, making certain to get everything inventoried well and good, has resulted in uh, a victory for you tonight. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Um, if anyone else, you know, everybody knows I am pretty much the queen of 17, so I like to be very thorough and keep things organized in my brain. It was delightful to commentate on this. Uh, I, uh, I'm trying to think of what like early surprises there were. Honestly, I was I was so blown away by the performance that y'all had that I'm trying to uh, rack my brain for good specific questions to ask. Um, I am actually kind of curious when you spotted when you got the darkness crystal. Uh, how did you kind of organize like what your uh, you knew you were in go mode? Uh, the decision of like prioritizing who are you going to go and murder next? Um, well, I knew the Fey March was something I could tackle at that point. Um, I I mean, the Octoman was easy enough in the Bygen. I had that Moon Veil, so I knew I was fine. Now, did I forget that I also had the Avenger for a couple of turns and that that would also give me the Berserk? Yes. Um, so that was fun. Uh, my impromptu arm grind, also super fun. But, you know, I got through it. It was fine. Yeah, that, those, uh, those arms bringing up the XP count, always a delight. And uh, yeah, there were, that guy brought a lot of arms to the party today. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to know the final count. I think it's probably close to 20. It was a good experience at the end of it, though, I'm sure. <laughs> yep, help for those D-Lunars. Oh, wait, Crystal Sword helped with that. So walk me through behind the scenes, um, because you guys got to determine the the choice of 
who did Moonvale Mixer and who did Potion Party. And I remember you saying how much you hated Potion Party in particular. So walk me through behind the scenes conversations for this. Um, well, so I actually, I love Potion Party. I just don't perform well on it in race time. Um, or as well as I was hoping. But um, just in terms of kind of playing towards other teammates kind of skill set, um, I felt comfortable enough in kind of just coming into this and just playing efficiently um, and just not leaving anything like kind of out in the open, uh, which is why you saw me do some really weird resetting uh, because I forgot to check my tails before going down the hook and I was like if darkness is right there I'm gonna be really mad so I saved reset out checked it to make sure it wasn't just sitting there and then kind of went back and made sure that darkness wasn't in a chest I was about to fade um so that's you know I just I like to play efficiently I feel like that's where I am good at um at my skill level so we just kind of played towards my strength there and um my teammates skills for later on this evening I did actually love seeing you uh, get the see that the package was inside of that trap chest and just immediately resetting so quickly that I didn't notice what was going on. Uh, <laughs> it was I was just like, but the package could have could have Derek Mist behind. It. And as I have now seen in the spoilers flying by on the screen, that uh, Derek Mist was gating the Legend Sword. Oh, cute. Yeah. Um, if that was there, I mean, I would have you know gone down with the hook boss check for Demas and the package chest, I mean check, because I was just banking that Demas was probably somewhere up on the moon at that point. Because we had way too many key items that I was just like, well, this Sylph has a lot of stuff, or, I mean, it has to be here, so. Yeah, honestly, as you approach that Sylph cage, just Okay, if the conversation was, okay, we're literally running out of places the king I <laughs> key items could possibly be. Uh, it's about to get real rich someplace. Mm -hmm. Yep, I had three chest or three uh, self chests left when I found Baron. I mean, uh, darkness. That was it. Oh, there, there's one uh, a bit of trivia that I think is very fun for you. You never checked the weapon shop inside of the the village of summoned monsters, which would have given you your crystal sword much sooner. Ah, uh, well. Uh, and so we well. were just sitting there going like, oh gosh, is she never going to get a crystal sword? Is this going to be the difference between the races? And then it's just given to you during the by the pink tail, and it was like, oh. Oh, yeah, I was really fine. happy for that. I knew I'd seen an X cow somewhere, so like, if I needed to, I would have gone shopping Overworld um, to go find it. I think it was in um, Troya, but because um, I had all the money, I was ready. I was ready to buy five crystal rings and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, the the Troya treasury was a crime. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. But um, but yeah, um, I'm glad this is done. And now I can relax for the rest of the day and root on my team. Yeah, I am super excited to watch the next race uh, and and see these two teams come come face to face, battle to battle. Uh, that's a thing you can be, right? Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm glad I commentated on this one so that I could just watch the next one with some popcorn in hand uh, and and see how it goes. You, uh, you played phenomenally tonight. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. Um, GG's to Nitsi. It was very close. We both pretty much full, uh, full cleared everything. Um, gotta love just, you know, taking a full tour of what the seed had to offer. Um, and yeah, thank you to all of you for putting on this, uh, this race. And um, yeah, we'll see you back here at uh, 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern. That is very, very late for me. It is already 10 p.m. here for me in Sweden. I, I will. Oh, well, it's, it's early for you, realistically, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, you, you can take a whole sleep before then. Oh, well, there's an idea. I guess mm. I could. That's tempting. <laughs> but yeah, uh, GG's again. Thank y'all, and y'all have a great rest of your afternoon. Thank you. Yep, GG's, J-Man. And we've seen Nitsi wrap up uh, the the battle here against the, uh, the the dragon's lunar, hitting an Artemis bow, a thing I did not notice before. Yeah, 
And uh, so GG's to Nitsi, who does finish things up here. Um, we'll check to see if Nitsi's going to be up. Oh, there he is. And GG's Nitsi. Uh, how are you feeling, buddy? It's not the result I wanted for my team, but, um, you know, sometimes you roll the dice and you win, and sometimes you roll the dice and you lose. So I, I have no regrets on how I played it. Um, just wish uh, things might have turned out just a little bit differently. It was an incredible race. Uh, honestly, watching you do your Bygen fight in what I felt was an almost impossible level of underleveled, and you just killed him. Uh, I I was mad impressed by that. That was an incredible play. Uh, it is a shame that uh, that yes, Sylph Cave was weirdly loaded. Yeah, and in all my practice seeds, um, I think I did about ten, and maybe one had a potential key item in Sylph Cave. The rest, it was all usually Zonk. So uh, I said to myself um, when I went down the. Uh, the, the twin harp and said uh, if it's not here then I've probably lost and if it is here, if darkness is here then I might still have a chance. J-Mac is she's a phenomenal opponent and um, she is really good at this game so I knew I was in tough to begin with so uh, GG sir, I uh, just quickly want to shout out uh, both you and uh, Vitasia, thank you so much for your commentary. Uh, Dathis for not putting uh, DKC in a spot that really scares me. And um, to our tracker dubword, thank you so much for clicking all the buttons. And um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna root on my team. We're we're down, but we're not out. Um, and hopefully we can uh, cue the gun. I'm super excited. This may be a loss in your book, but you have at the same time made uh, an incredible match is going to be coming up very soon tonight. Well, today. Uh, and uh, I am I am eager to see. You've just got, you've got, your team's got your back, got their backs to the wall. It is time for the ultimate comeback. That is how sports stories work. And it's exciting. Absolutely. I uh, I wish that it had been a little bit different and that we could go in 1-0, uh, but I know uh, Dave and Night Dew are really, really good, and they're very good at Moonbell Mixer. I know they're up against, um, I apologize, it's Woo Bear, and just off the top of my head, I can't remember. Um, peasants. Peasants. Oh my god, it's Peasants. I wish I had known that, but they are both also extremely good, so... Uh, I just, you know, I, I made a couple of small mistakes uh, in Fey March that probably put me behind the eight ball. But um, having the the Porm and Rosa show was was kind of fun to uh, to do. So uh, yeah, let's uh, you yeah, know go relax and uh, get hyped for uh, tonight's race. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nitsy. And and just to highlight to everyone out there, you know, the, the Bold Strategy team started out 0-2 in this tournament and has had their back against the wall since week two in this tournament. So uh, back against the wall, not anything that the team is uh, not accustomed to, we'll say. Absolutely. We we have been basically up against it for seven weeks now. So, uh, yeah, I I looked to good things and uh, it wasn't where I wanted uh, them to be, but it was a tough seed. It uh, it had twists and turns. Um, I thought uh, looking back on it, it may have not been the right choice, but, um, you know, that's that's history. It was only eight minutes difference, I think eight or nine, let me just say seven, uh, seven and a half. Um, so just a, a couple of diff different things go right. I was really happy with the bag and fight. Uh, that went well. Once I remembered uh, how to set that up, uh, note to your friends, you can still blink and then Moonvale Cecil, and that's always fun. Um, and really, other than that, I was, uh, I was happy with uh, how I played things. So uh, 
that's uh that's about it for me thank you uh so much everyone for watching without you guys it's just me running around looking at uh trap chest for uh an hour and 48 minutes so thank you so much and thank you so much to uh team wombat milk uh they have proved to be uh, a formidable opponent and we will see uh what happens tonight indeed we shall thank you very much uh uh I think that uh, it is time for us to uh, uh, read another channel. I don't know how to make this announcement. I never listen to the ends of everything. Oh, no. This is. Oh, do, do you, would you like some assistance here? Yes, please. I'm new okay, here. No, absolutely. So I want to give absolutely a shout out to everyone behind the scenes. So Dubword for all the tracking, uh, Dathis for rolling this, this wonderful seed, and of course, uh, Trick Dempsey. Uh, fantastic commentary, by the way. Um, just, just Aww, great job here. Um, that is. That being said, we are going to go raid Stupid Sexy Flanders, who is running a seed. Remember, no spoilers for all of that. Reminder: ten o'clock Eastern time is the final match. Uh, Wombat Milk does have one match up, uh, but the other two matches are Moonvale Mixer in the Twin Cast tonight at ten o'clock Eastern, right here on Free Enterprise. Make sure to join us and follow us over there. Uh, my name's Fatasia, and we'll see you guys at the next race. Have a great, great rest of the day. <laughs>